What is up everybody? Today we are going to be learning how to use the RPG Maker MV tool Madoc, I think, Madoc, Mado, uh, something along those lines. But uh, these are DLCs you can get from Steam, specifically made for the RPG Maker MV engine that, that uh, help you make the game more uh, less bland and more interesting and unique. So you're going to get the DLC from Steam. And then you are going to go over here to Tools. We're going to go down to RPG Maker MV Tools. Now, yours should pop up down here in this area. If they're not, you can hit Select Path and search for them in your uh, in your files. And then you just click on them and hit Add, and they'll, they'll pop up here. So right now, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Window Builder. So you're gonna, they're going to pop up over here after they're installed. And it's Matto. Mado, Mado, something like that. Okay, so it's going to pop up, and it's going to be a completely grayed out screen. You can't do nothing, so you'll have to hit File. You'll have to hit File. Okay, Open MV Project. Now you're going to go down, and you're going to find where your RPG Maker MV is. There's my RPG Maker MV games. Go into my game. And we click the little white and red icon right here that says game. Click it. Now it loads in. And now with all this, you can change it to what to whatever you want. They have backgrounds. That's going to be the inside of it, how it looks. See, we can do that. Do that. Do that. So uh, we'll pick. We'll pick that one for now, and we'll go to the frames. These are the frames that go all the way around it. And we'll pick that. That's pretty cool. Then we'll go to the corners here, and we can pick a corner. That that right there looks really cool. We're, uh, we're going to use that. So you can also go and click themes, and they already have pre-made ones all done. And this is for the talk, so when you're talking to somebody, this is what's going to pop up, what it's going to look like. They have status, which is going to be your menu and everything. Battle, when you're doing your side view battles and your uh, battle at enemies, th this is what it's going to look like. You can have them different for each section. And then other, that's going to be like your main menu, what it looks like at the start. Let's go ahead and change that real quick. That's that's really cool. I like that. But we'll go to the background here. Change it to red. And then the frame. We'll just change it to that. That's that's pretty cool. So then what you do then is you're going to hit save. This. We'll hit select folder. Backwood is what I named my game. So that's what the whole folder pops up as. And export has succeeded. Okay. We can exit out of this. We made our uh, made our windows. Yes, I want to quit the application. But before the windows will pop up, you have to go into your plugin menu, and you have to go and add alternate window frame. And you have to have it clicked to on, or it won't pop up. So now that you have alternate window frame on in your plugins, hit apply. Okay. Now we hit play. See, now it's changed. See, now the text has changed. Go over here. More text. That's changed. Menus changed. So everything's changed now. The main menu, the text, uh, the uh, yeah, the main menu, the text, your menu in game, it's it's all changed, and you can go back and edit that in any any particular order you want to do it, each for different, or you can keep it all the same. 
Uh, and you can also, if you're good with Photoshop and GIMP and stuff like that, I suggest getting GIMP. It's a good software for photo editing. But you can you can go and make your own frames and put them in there to use. So uh, that's for another day, though. If you learn anything, hit the subscribe button, leave a like. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple more tutorials today, so stay tuned for that. Everybody, have a great day. Crit Ghoul. Out.